Hello again, we are here from Pocket Gamer Connect San Francisco. I am being joined by Michael from Blackstorm. Michael, you've just come out from one of the talks that you did in one of our tracks and you're discussing something which sounds a bit grand and almost a bit scary to some people, I'd imagine, which is a post-app ecosystem. What do you mean by that and how is Blackstorm involved? Well, what I mean is that there's a new channel for creating and distributing games. And it's much larger than the App Store and it's much faster growing. Um, and a lot of people don't realize it yet, but the idea is that you create a game that exists inside of another app. So Facebook Messenger is a great example. We recently launched with Facebook Messenger, um, and, and we've seen tens of millions of players in a very short amount of time in our game. And uh, the way it works is that a bunch of people are already chatting with each other inside of a chat conversation, and instead of having them separately say, oh, now I'm going to go to the App Store and download a game, it's a very sterile process. Instead, they're all there together. They say, hey, let's play a game together. And then we deliver that game right there in the chat, and there's no friction, there's no downloading, it's just instant. And so the name of that platform is Instant Games, and you can see why. And so Everwing is, is pretty much the flagship of, of, of that platform. We actually took a run at some of those games because I work on AppSpy and we sat down and played all of the games that were released. Um, and yeah, with varying results, I think. Some of them work better than others, but most notably, a lot of them were single player. You could communicate with your friends through the messenger and you could kind of compete in terms of, hey, I got this high score, can you be that? But they weren't actually real time. Are you working towards something that would actually be directly competitive multiplayer? Um, yeah, so when the Facebook platform launched, um, they've been very good, the Messenger team has been very good about just getting something out and iterating and learning and building and so they've actually gone through many, many product releases and so the day it launched there, there weren't um, all of the social graph APIs you needed to be multiplayer and so they came out with those later on, like kind of maybe, maybe early this year and so we followed up with a big multiplayer feature set and, and um, what we did is we decided not to make it directly competitive. It, it, it is a competitive play, but it's actually collaborative. And so we launched a feature called Boss Rates, where groups of two to 200 people, like we have very large groups. Um, you know, it could also just be you and your buddy, but you get together and you try to achieve this very big goal of fighting this, this monster, this huge monster. And, and you do tiny little snippets of damage. And so you might fight them a hundred times, and your buddies might fight them a hundred times, and together you might fight them a thousand, and you finally whittle down the health and, and kill them. Oh, sorry. Um, but the, uh, the interesting thing about it is it's in very short bursts. Like you play for 30 to 60 seconds, and then it pushes your damage back to the group. And so you have this live, simultaneous feel of like we're all like working on this big goal together. We're all making progress, and you can kind of compare and strategize and decide when to attack and how to do it. And then you succeed as a group, and then you all claim treasure as a group. And we found this model works really well because you know, if, if people join halfway through, they just kind of join the melee. And if they leave halfway through, it's fine. You just kind of have fewer resources to fight the boss with, but the game keeps going. Do you find any limitations working within these kind of platforms versus the ability to create your own app and not have to, for example, deal with um, any of the terms that Facebook might throw at you or any of the restrictions that, you know, working, for example, through live messenger chat, it has to work within that system. Do you ever feel restricted by it or do you find that the restrictions kind of help focus you? Yeah, so, uh, I mean, I think every platform has uh, constraints, and um, the, the biggest constraint here is that um, you have to understand your user's mindset. And the mindset isn't like they're going to go onto the App Store, think like they, they definitely want to play a game, they're going to spend you know, 20 minutes downloading like a 200 megabyte game. If they do all of that, then your, your first time user experience, like your tutorial, um, you know, it, it can be a little bit sloppy. Like you, you have five or 10 minutes of their attention because they, they've invested so much in getting there. Inside of an instant game, it's like they were just having a chat and suddenly they're in a game. And they're like, oh wow, this is interesting. But they give you about 15 seconds of their time to hook them. Right. And so you've got to really engage them like right away. And then you've got to, you've got to give them a sense of instantaneous, um, so, so, sort of instantaneous fun. And then you've got to layer on top of that some kind of progression. And so the first 15 seconds for us are, are get the user understanding like how to control the game and, and make sure they feel like they're, they're, they're running something interesting then they're playing something interesting, then give them these 30 second loops where they're getting like better, where they get more, like, more powerful, they're getting higher scores. And then after that, we run them through maybe like four of those, so two minutes in, you know, and we're only halfway through like what a native app would do, but we're, we're, we're already two minutes for us, which is huge. We, we then put a social layer on top to say, oh, actually you're here with your friends. And so getting from that instant, like the instant open, all the way to like you're an engaged player with friends is probably the most difficult thing. Okay. And then the one other thing I'd say is that the scaling mechanics 
here are crazy. Like you go from zero to like tens of millions of people in a very short amount of time. And so you have to be ready with your servers. And you know, if you, if you have a multiplayer game, you know, we had our servers shut off by our cloud provider like five times through launch because they, didn't, they thought there must be some error here because we just don't see things scale up this fast. And so it's, it's kind of a technical and mindset you know, shift. It's kind of a welcome problem by the sounds of it. So apart from working with Facebook, are you now looking at other networks you can integrate your games into, or are you striking out on your own? Um, so we recently launched uh, a game portal in Japan, partnered with Rakuten. It's called Rakuten Games. And we provide the technology for the platform. And then we have content from all across Japan. We have a lot of major Japanese IPs publishing on that platform. And it's a post-app store platform as well. It sort of exists inside Rakuten's ecosystem and loads directly outside of an app store. Um, beyond that, we look at each uh, sort of potential HTML5 game platform, each post app store platform on a case-by-case -case basis. I think eventually there'll be dozens, there'll be lots of, of different choices. But for us, it's very important what the user's mindset is when they get into the game. Because imagine you come from like an Uber app and they launch a game platform. The mindset is like, I'm on a car ride for 20 minutes, I want to play a game. Imagine you put it in a dating app. It's like, it's more of like, okay, I matched with this person on a dating app. It's a one, sorry, a one-on-one -on -one experience. And, and it's, it's more like getting to know someone. If you launch inside Messenger, it's like, okay, this is a group of my friends or some club or something. And, and so understanding that mindset is really important to us. So I think we'll be very selective about who we work with for the next year to make sure there's a really good match between our content and the platform.